Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can compute the reliability of Lacquered scale uh, items using Chromebox Alpha. So we're going to go to Analyze and we're going to go to Scale. Then we're going to go to Reliability Analysis. So this is the technical procedure. Uh, we want to compute the reliability of some lacquered scale items that constitute a dimension, like we have many dimensions, and we want to check the reliability of each dimension and report it. Why? Because we need to combine all the items in one variable or we call it composite scale or summated scale and it has many uh, names sometimes some researchers would prefer to use uh, the median but it depends so here we are going to go to reliability as i said click on it and let's go to the survey so here the own language use purposes we have some items we need to combine those lacquered scale items into one dimension and we need to see their overall reliability. This means that either the majority of the respondents strongly agree or agree or the majority of the respondents strongly disagree or disagree. If we found that some items have lower reliability, we may reverse code them or we can remove them or there are many ways to improve the reliability that I'm going to show you in one click. So let's go back to spaces. So I'm going to move the items in question. So here we have explain vocabulary, tell. I'm going to move one by one or I can move all of them at once. And then for the model here, I should check alpha because we have omega, we have split half, we have Gatman, we have parallel and strict parallel. Uh, so reliability or Chromebox alpha reliability is chosen and we're going to go to statistics and choose scale if item deleted for descriptives. So I'm going to choose this just in case the reliability is not good and I need to improve it. Uh, then I can even include some summaries like the means just to see the overall mean of the Lacquered scale and That's it. So I think these are the most important uh, Let's say categories that need to be checked. Let's click continue and click OK So here is the output so we have the Chromebox alpha and the Chromebox alpha based on standardized items and the number of items. So here, what concerns us is the Chromebox Alpha. It is uh, 0.946. This means that it's 94%. And this is a very good, let's say, excellent Chromebox Alpha. As the higher these values, the better the Chromebox Alpha and the more reliable the scale is. So this is the mean of the, uh, the overall scale. Uh, that we have just tested its reliability. Uh, these are the items if scales uh, or item total statistics. This refers to the what the Chromebox Alpha will be if the item or if some items are deleted or let's say reverse coded. So we, we resort to, to this option only when we have a Chromebox Alpha that is less than uh, point 0.7 okay and this is how we can um, in fact analyze it or analyze the reliability interpret it and we can also report it we're going to be reporting the different Chromebox alpha of all the dimensions along with the items by creating a table with the scale title the number of items and the Chromebox alpha that should be as I said above 7 which means above 70%. Okay, this is all for this uh, tutorial.
Uh, further details can be included in the description on the script of how to report the alpha level with the symbol etc. Uh, if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media platforms. I try my best to uh, reply to all the uh, commands or uh, inquiries with regard to your data set uh, as far as my time allows. And thank you again for everything and see you soon in another tutorial. Bye for now.